everyone. I'm going to be going over day four and day five homework for algebra for elimination. So if you weren't in class or if you just want a little bit more review, I'm going to be going over the odd problems. So then if you have any questions, um, please reach out to your teachers and we will help you out. Okay, so number one. So our mission is to eliminate one of them, one of the variables, so then I can solve for the other one. Okay, so what I do is, again, I'm going to put this on another piece of paper. I'm going to stack them so that I have an X, I have the Y, and then I have the constant. Okay, again, our mission is to find the solution. A solution is the X and Y. Okay, so I'm going to, if you notice, negative, and I'm going to add them together. So negative X plus X is eliminated. And then I have 2 plus 6 is 8y, 12 plus 20 is 32. I add them together. I divide 8 to both sides. Let me move. Okay. And then I have y equals 4. Awesome. So y equals 4 for that. y equals 4. Okay. Now what do I do? Now while I have the y, I need to find the x. So I'm going to plug y back into one of the form, one of the equations. It does not matter which one. So I'm just going to pick the second one to avoid the negative. Again, it has to work for both in order for it to be a system. So I have x plus 24, which equals 20. I'm going to subtract 24 to both sides, and I get x equals negative 4. So I have my x, I have my y, and now I'm going to write it as an ordered pair. And that's where it, that's where those two equations are the solution. So again, think about someone who is in the same algebra class as you. So you would have the same class period and then the same subject, okay? So you need both in order to have the answer. So that's elimination, day four. All right, so let's try day th number three, okay? Let's try number three. And again, showing those steps so then we can rock this out. I'm going to move. Ooh. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is stack them. So I'm going to put 4x plus 5y equals 8 under the first one. Okay, so the reason why I'm stacking is because I'm going to be adding them together. If you notice, I can't eliminate anything just yet. Well, let's think about this. Well, what is the opposite of a 5y? Well, that would be a negative 5y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative in order for me to solve. So I have negative 4x, negative 4x, oh my goodness. Minus 5y equals negative 8. All right, so I multiply negative 1, and now let's see what I can do. I can, all right, all right, now I can add them together and eliminate. The whole purpose of all of this is to eliminate one of the variables. So I eliminated the y, and now I have 2 minus 4x is negative 2x. The y is eliminated, again, trying to just get one variable. And then 14 minus 8 is positive 6. Now let's solve that. So negative 2x, negative 2x. Sorry, guys, my pen's being kind of funky. So negative 2x equals 6, divide negative 2 to both sides, and x equals negative 3. All right, now I'm going to plug that back in. I'm going to plug that back in. Again, it doesn't matter which equation, so let's say I'm just going to pick the first one. So x equals negative 3, so I'm going to plug in negative 3 in for x. Okay, and then I'm going to solve. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then what do I do now? Okay, well, I want to get the y by itself, so I'm going to add 6 to both sides, and I get 5y equals 20. You guys see now why you need so much room. Divide 5 to both sides, and y equals 4. So this is when you say, okay, did I finish? All right, I have my x, I have my y. Did I finish? And let's see our answer. Yes, negative 3 comma 4. The x is negative 3, the y is 4. Okay, so make sure you put it in that order, x, y. So what did I do first? I stacked them. Then I saw, what can I eliminate? Eliminate that choice. Find the answer to the remaining variable. 
plug it back in, find the other one, okay? So next one, num number five. All right, now we're going to, again, stack the equations and see what I have, okay? So I have an x and an x, a y and a negative 2y, a 1 and a 2, okay? So what I'm going to do, so if I can eliminate, what is the opposite of positive 1? Well, that is negative 1. So again, I'm going to multiply the bottom one by a negative 1, and then change, I have to do, do it to the entire equation, so I'm going to times negative 1 by everything, and then bring back the top equation. Now, let's look. 1 minus 1 would become 0. The x's go away. Now I have 1 plus 2, which is 3y, and 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Divide 3 to both sides, and y equals negative 1 third. Okay, it's going to be okay. That it is a fraction. I'm going to plug it back into the original and see what I can work with. Again, this is my y value, so I'm plugging it in for the y. And then I'm going to add 1 third to both sides to get x. Okay, well, 1 plus 1 third, well, let's say that I change the 1 to 3 over 3. Because 3 over 3 equals 1, so I can just change that pretty easily. And then what is 3 plus 1? Well, that is 4 thirds. So my answer, my answer, so remember, my x was 4 thirds, my y was negative 1 third, and there we go. All right, going on to number 7. So this is in a different order, but again, we can solve it. So I'm going to stack it, y equals negative 3x plus 13. Okay, I have my y's in a row. I have my x's in a row, and I have my constants together, okay? So they're stacked, so now I can see what I am working with. So if I have y and a y, again, I can distribute, what if I distributed a negative to the bottom? So this became negative, this became positive, and this became negative. So that's eliminated, zero equals x minus five, okay? So 8, so y minus y becomes 0, negative 2 plus 3, because again, I changed the sign, becomes x, and 8 minus 13 is negative 5. I bring the 5 to both sides, and x equals 5. Okay, I plug that back in to, again, either equation, and you find the y. So do that step, and you should get 5, negative 2. Okay. All right, just moving right along to number 9. Number nine's a little funky. So then I have 3x minus 2y equals 9. And the second one, oh, geez, there's a lot going on. So how do I put it in the order of x, y, and then the number? So that's what I want to do for the second one. So we need to move some things around. So we want the number on the right. So I'm going to move this 10 by subtracting. I need to do the opposite. So I'm going to subtract, and then I'll get negative 18. And then let's look on this one. Where is the y? Well, the y is to the left of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 7y to both sides. So then I have it in the same order as over here. I have negative 3x minus 7y equals negative 18. There we go. And now that it's in the right order, we can then eliminate. Okay. So it looks like it's 3 minus 3, so that's eliminated. And then I have negative 9y equals negative 9. Divide, find y, and then come back and find x. So try out number 9. Pause and come back. Okay, so your y should have been 1, and your x is 11 thirds. Again, it's not the prettiest, but it'll work. I'm going to set up number 11, and you will do the rest. Again, you need to try and practice these. So I'm going to stack. So I'm going to bring the second term under the first. Okay. And then I have a y, negative y and a negative y. So what can I do? Let me make, let me change and make the bottom change the sign of the bottom. So if it's positive, I'm going to make it negative. If it's negative, I'm going to make it positive. Okay. So again, I have to do it to all of them or if it doesn't work. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2x. The y's go away, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 
All right, divide negative 2 to both sides, find the x, and then plug it back in for the y. Your final answer should be 1, 0. All right, moving on to day five. This is with multiplication. So these are a little bit more complicated, but again, the same concept. So I have, I'm going to again stack 2x minus 3y equals 7. Okay, well, how do I, what is the opposite of 2x? Well, wouldn't that be negative 2x? So I'm going to actually times the top by negative 2x. So you want to look at your variable and you want to see what can I do to the other equation in order to eliminate one of the variables. So if you had 2, I need negative 2 for the other equation. If you had 1, you need negative 1 in order to eliminate it. So that's what you're multiplying. That's what you're trying to do. So again, I'm going to fix the first one, negative 2x plus 10y equals 0. And then I have the second one I'm going to drop down, 2x minus 3y equals 7, eliminate, and then 10 minus 3 is 7y, which equals 7. Solve for y, y will equal 1 by dividing 7 to both sides. And then again, you plug that back in. All right, let me plug it into this first one. So x minus 5 times 1 equals 0. Again, I have my y. I need to find my x. So x minus 5 equals 0. I'm not done yet. I'm going to do the opposite of a negative 5, which is a positive 5, and x will equal 5. So my final answer would become 5, 1. So first thing, eliminate one of the variables, solve for the other variable, and then plug it back in so you can get both. Okay, so it's a puzzle. You have to do the first in order to do the second. All right, so the first thing is, again, make up that game plan. How am I going to get rid or eliminate one of the variables? Okay, well, let's think about this. What is the opposite of 10? Well, that's negative 10. So can I make negative 5, can I change that to negative 10? Yes, by multiplying it by 2. So then that becomes negative 10x. I got to do it to everything. 2 times 8y is 16y, and 2 times 21 is 42. I bring the, the other one down, and then I notice that I can eliminate the x's, combine the y's, and add from there, so 57. And then solve for y, then plug it back in to find the x. So first, eliminate from there, okay? All right, same thing for number five. So I'm gonna stack and then see what can I do to get rid of something. So if I had the five and the three, I'd have to multiply something to both of them in order to eliminate. Can I change the negative two Okay, well, I need to do the opposite of 6. So what's the opposite of 6? Negative 6. So can I get to negative 6 if I have negative 2? Yes, by multiplying what? I multiply the 3. So if I multiply this whole equation by 3, I can do it. So I've got 15x minus 6y equals negative 30. Again, I'm distributing the 3 to everything. And then I'm going to bring down the other one. Eliminate 18x equals negative 24. Okay, so there we go. Again, not the prettiest, but we are, we're doing the best we can for these systems. That's why it's not always the best to graph. Sometimes we eliminate, sometimes we substitute. So the main thing is, again, stacking and seeing what you have. Like number seven, how would you, so what would be the opposite of nine? And can you solve from there? Ooh, I need to move something in order to get these together. So I'm going to have 9x minus 6y equals negative 12. There we go. Put the other one. And then we have some options. Opposite of 9 would be negative 9. You can multiply that to the whole thing. Or the opposite of negative 6 would be positive 6. So then I could multiply this also by 3. So you have some options. Okay, so ask questions. Try these out. And hope it went well. Thank you so much. Bye.